video. Um, this topic that I'm about to talk about, I did not have planned for this week. I had a completely different video planned out and scheduled to film. Um, but the Lord just was like leaning on my heart with this topic this like past week or so. And I just felt like he wanted me to make a video on it just to talk about it, even though I'm like in the thick of it, I'm still going through it and learning about it myself. Um, and like pruning my own ways in this. I don't know. I just felt led to talk about this instead of the other video that I did have planned. Um, so this is not planned. I have nothing written out for it. I have not like, yeah, planned the content ahead at all. Um, I'm just sitting down during nap time uh, and filming this for you. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new here, thank you for joining. Um, please stick around and subscribe if you like things that relate to faithful and simple living, such as motherhood, homemaking, and biblical content um, like this one. So um, what I want to talk about today is finding contentment in your work. I'm mostly going to be speaking to like homemakers, those who, um, who have their own homes, who have children, who are constantly doing these um, mundane tasks throughout the day. Before having kids, I felt like I had a really good handle on all of the housework and different responsibilities that you have that comes with being a wife and a homemaker. Um, I even did when I had just one, but now that I have two and I feel like there's just so much more on top of me. So just doing those simple tasks can be very hard to do every single day. So personally, I feel like doing laundry every day or every couple days, um, constantly washing dishes throughout the day, cleaning up messes, um, picking up toys. It's like a constant cycle that feels like it's never ending. And in the season, it really is not um, like there's no ending in sight. And then on those tiring days where um, maybe I did not get enough sleep that night, there was a lot going on and we have other things planned. I feel a little bit more stressed out. Um, just doing those simple tasks that I do every single day and doing those responsibilities that I have as a wife and mother, um, it really does get daunting and overwhelming on most days. And most of the women that I have talked to uh, feel the same way about this. And it's not all the time, it's just every now and then. Um, just because, yeah, you're either tired, you're not uh, keeping yourself nourished right, uh, you are just stressed about something else, and then all those other things just add up on top of you. So what kind of brought this topic up in my mind and has been um, making me think about it more, thinking about, um, I guess, the topic of being content in uh, the work that you do, even though you may be doing it all the time and those simple tasks constantly throughout the day, um, still finding joy in that and finding it as a way to serve your family and changing your heart attitude. Um, yeah, to be joyful in that. So what kind of brought this topic up into my mind was the other day last week, uh, we had some company over. It had already been a really long day. After they left, um, I had a bunch of dishes to do, um, but I wanted to get the boys down first. It was already pretty late. Kevin always puts Caden to bed, so he went to go do that. But Riley is actually really hard to actually put down to sleep for the night. Uh, so I was at that for a couple hours, trying to nurse him, rock him, trying to get him to go to sleep. He finally did around like 11, 11.30. And yes, I could have went to bed and just left the kitchen the way it was, but I knew I was not gonna have time the next morning to do it, um, to clean it all up. So I decided to go downstairs and clean up, uh, put the food away, wash the dishes, everything that I had to do, get Kevin's things ready for the morning um, for him to go to work. And when I went down there, I did have a very stressed heart, I guess. My mindset was really um, filled with overwhelm. I was, I guess you could say kind of like angry. And I don't even know what, just that I had this to do. Um, even though I knew Kevin needed to go to sleep because he had to be up in a few hours to go to work. So it was nothing against anyone. It was just the feeling of my work never, ever stops. If I'm doing work by myself um, and I have just some free, quiet moments, I'll normally turn on like worship music, but I didn't even feel like doing that this time. Um, so I just turned on a podcast and I turned on one of Tor sister's podcast and she was talking about contentment as it was related to the Proverbs 31 woman. Um and immediately God started speaking to me. I don't even remember all that she was saying in the podcast, but she read the verse about the Proverbs 31 woman and how she would work by lamplight. So that literally means she would be up long hours of the night uh, doing her work, doing those tedious tasks, uh, probably while her household was asleep. And I felt like I was in the same place as that she was in that moment. So the Proverbs 31 woman, uh, she's not a real woman. It is more of a poem, a 
example that godly women should follow and it's also kind of hard to look at her because she did seem so perfect that she was doing everything she was serving her family providing for her family um doing other jobs uh buying land all these things um so it can also feel very overwhelming to look at her in her life but there's so much of a good example there the proverbs 31 woman she would had a lot on her plate as well but she still served her family with joy she finished her work by lamplight because she was working into the night so when i was cleaning the kitchen at midnight um god turned my heart and the way i was looking at life completely around from um being stressed and overwhelmed and just angry to um worship and using that time and that moment as service for my family and finding the joy in it even though i was tired even though um, I knew I had to do it then instead of um, the next morning because of the things I had going on. Um, I still knew that the Lord was with me, that he was going to give me peace, that he was going to give me the rest that I needed that night. Um, and he did. It was crazy how fast my heart went from like bitterness to peace. So I don't even know where to go with this video. Um, I just wanted to share that with you because... Like I said, the, all the women I've talked to, it can be very, very overwhelming to take care of children and your home and everything else that has to go into it, finding systems, finding rhythms, um, sticking to schedules, taking people to appointments. Um, it is really hard. So hopefully uh, if you are feeling that way, if you are in the thick of this as well and you are in constant feeling of overwhelm, maybe being mad, um, mad at your family members, uh, just having that heart of bitterness, realizing that it's still hard, but the Lord will give you the grace, the peace, the rest, and everything that you need to get through this season. I feel like right now each week is different. Each week we are going through different sleep schedules, different um, struggles we're facing with toddlers, babies, um, anything. So just knowing that your constant is in the Father, and He's the one that does remain constant through it all, and He will still give you the constant rest and peace and just um, fulfillment in him is so just, um, I don't know, fulfilling in the same way. I don't know, I'll probably end the video here. It was just a really quick chat, just a little heart to heart of where I am, what I am learning and growing in right now. Um, if you can relate or maybe the Lord is teaching you something else, uh, let me know in the comments below because I would love to talk to you about that. And um, yeah, just be encouraged that the work that you are doing is good and meaningful to the Lord and you can do it with joy because you are serving your family or whoever else um, is related to your work, however you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.